YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy. I'll be back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, all of that. So as you see, we are out here in the snow. As you read by the title, we're at another show. So you already know we're on the hunt. So like I said in my other videos, if y'all see anything that's giveaway worthy, drop it in the comments. We can definitely make it happen. But as you see, it's snowing out here, mad cold. So we're about to hurry up and get in there because you know, at these shows, the longer you wait, the less you're going to find. So let's hurry up and get in this thing because as I see, even though it's freezing out here, there's already a line starting to build up. So let's hurry up and get in this thing. Definitely got some dope stuff. Let's see that mug right there. That look crazy. Stuff over here. You cannot miss that. Is that the 50? Is that the 50? Yep, 50 AE Tiger Strike Desert Eagle. Go crazy. Got a Swiss PE90. Um, basically, this is the civilian version of the Swiss military adopted STG 90. My understanding is that in Swiss culture, there's a lot of competition shooting where a lot of people are shooting PE 90s. And because of that, since they all tend to look the same, uh, that prompted SIG to come up with a bunch of unusual special editions. Okay. So that people can set themselves apart. This is a blue star edition where it's basically just painted blue. I got you. Uh, somebody aftermarket decided to paint the handguard mm. a little unusual it is a, a standard pe90 or stg90 handguard okay with a, uh, oh wow oh that's dope okay natural Prevan israeli 308 galil so imported sometime in the 80s we've got a imbel uh, para FAL. So most of the FALs people see are DSA builds. This is actually on an imported MBL receiver. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kit was used to build it, but pendant uh, weld, so nice shorty FAL. That's one. TCM, Resi 14, so it's a 14 and a half. But in 16. This is a SIG 556. Basically, yeah, the US version of the SIG 550, takes AR and Got a Daniel Defense, DD M4 V7. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, this is a Bren 805, it's the original Bren. Um, and then we actually have a, a later the Bren 2 here. Um, and before that, sorry, I'm getting a little. Go out ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So that's the Bren 2. Uh huh. And then back here we have a SIG yeah, 551. Which is the That's a US version of the SIG 550. Yeah, so I got you. That blue that thing you uh -huh. This is basically. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, it's so smooth. Nice. Nice. Did you ever get the shoot? This is the original uh, Swiss. Uh -huh. And then this is the basic US variant of the, the 551. Whereas this would be the civilian version of the 550. Okay, okay. Man, where do we leave off? That right there. Yeah, you know, sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. So it's actually got a, a lower swapped out to be a standard 550 lower. And then it's got a, I think, 22 inch barrel, 20 inch barrel. Okay. Okay. And is the Gatling yours? Yes. Okay. So we've got a Gatling gun here, 45 long pull. Uh, you can also get chambers that go black powder. Uh huh. But you have to load them individually, which would be an absolute pain in the ass. Yeah. So I've just got the chambers for the 45 long pull. I got you. <laughs> that is wild. That is wild. I appreciate it, man. Hey, yeah. what's going on, man? Hey, what's happening, guys? Good to see you again. Another yeah. life of OB. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. We got a couple of interesting Swiss pieces right here. This is a um, limited edition full metal APC9. They only made 400 of these. I was able to snag one. It's got a nice Elfman trigger. Nice two and a half to three pound break on that trigger. Extremely oh, wow. smooth. That full metal uh, lower is gorgeous. Feel the weight OB, it's actually a lot lighter than some of the... That's crazy. Yeah, they lightened up a weight, uh, the weight by going full M-lock. 
Then we have uh, APC 223556 Gen 2, okay. non reciprocating. This is probably, hands down, my favorite firearm. If I had to choose one firearm, I'd choose this. I have my personal one right here in tan. That Ooh. piece got quite a bit into. Um, we've got a staccato, um, I believe. That's a P. one is a C2, I believe. Oh, that is yeah, a C2. C2. Yeah, C2 Duo. <laughs> We're doing 25 on that setup. For the whole, for the, including the optic? Correct, yeah. Gently, gently used, but very well kept. 25 on that one. It's a nice size. Uh, we also have a Walther PPQ Tactical right here. 950 with the uh, with the light. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, we got your venerable AP5, MP5 clone. That piece is 15. And then we have a very, very cool serial number 25, Ooh. Gen 1 APC 45 with the metal max. Uh, this is, that's the GOAT of uh, SMGs. Since 45 is naturally subsonic, you get a suppressor on that and you're in business. We have another APC 45 Gen 2, um, non-reciprocating on that one. Up top we have an APC 223. This was the Gen 2.5. It does have the Elfman trigger. This one does reciprocate. Underneath, we have another custom uh, APC 223, uh, custom gas settings. And then under, underneath, we have an FAL 11 inch Ooh. right there, which is very, very sweet out of DSA arms. That's ridiculous. Absolutely. Thank you so oh. much, guys. No problem. No problem. Blessings. Good seeing you again, brother. Blessings. Springfield XDM 10 millimeter with the hex sight on there. 779. I think this is the compact one, 9 millimeter. Got a Springfield Prodigy. This is the 5 inch, I think. This is the 5 inch. I think it said it on there. Mm, if it does, I can't see it, but I think this is the 5 inch. Really nice, affordable, 2011. We have some Canics out here. Optics ready. Flat trigger. Other Canics. Dark side rival. We got the other ones up there. They only got two of them out. We got an FN 502 22 long rifle. We got what is this one? I think that's the 509 in 9 millimeter. FNX 45. FNX 510, the 10 millimeter right there. Black. Get that one as a giveaway. The FN 57 optics ready. I don't know why, but I, I prefer the Smith. I like the Smith 57. But that's tons of FNs. That one comes with five FN Max. It's a dope looking Glock right there. I like that barrel, threaded barrel. Nice looking Glock right there. Yeah, CZ Tactical Sport 2. Really nice. Really love my CZ. Flat trigger. It's a nice little Smith. Comes in a holster. I don't know if I can get that one out. Okay, so that's how that one look. I'm gonna mess it up. Kind of got that distressed bronze finish on top. Nice little pocket carry though. What's that going at? 524. Got this steel frame. Smith and Wesson. Y'all here it is. That Smith and Wesson 57. I shot this. Y'all gotta y'all gotta wait for that review. But this gun right here, oh my gosh. I think this is one of the best 57, especially for that price. One of the best. 22 plus one rounds of that 57. Ridiculous. And I like that trigger on this. That's that's the one to get at least out of the FN and the Smith. I would say definitely get the Smith. Got a 12 gauge here with that chainsaw on it. What are they asking for this one? 
got one that's going for six ninety nine. I like that shirt coat on that on that AK. That's a dope shirt coat right there. What is this one going at? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine for that one. This distressed finish on this entry looks tough. Yeah, that looks cool, especially for AK. This one what? Walls are ten. That one is nice. How much is that one going for? Made in Romania. Made in US. Nine hundred. That's not bad. It's a good looking rifle. As you see, we got some tracos up there. We got one in twenty four karat. We got another one coated. Over here in the main room, by the background checks. This one's going at 1350. This one's tough. I like the furniture on this one. And then we come across this Tommy gun. The engravings. Oh, and I got some engravings on the wood, too. Comes in a nice case, obviously. Get what? Two mags? We got some Dracos over here. This is the full size. The mini and the micro. They got all three lined up. Let me see. All the same price? Okay, so the micro is the most expensive, but by like 20 bucks. Got some Chris vectors over here. So it's chambered in. This is 10 millimeter. This is. What do you mean? 9 millimeter. And that one. It's also 9mm. Oh, that PTR is tough. So this one looked like a PTR, but it is the SP5, I think? Or the MP5. MP5. I like the color on that one. And we got some CZ Scorpions. And we got some Sentry Arms AP5. Look how small these are. That is crazy. Got some... What is this? It looked like an AK. Lishnikov USA. Um, what is it chambered in? 12 gauge. This is a 12 gauge. So it's a shockwave looking 12 gauge that functions kind of like an AK. That's kind of dope. It's sick. Let me know if y'all if I should add this to the collection. That looks crazy. More shockwave looking 12 gauges. <laughs> Honcho, is this Charles Daly? Yep, Charles Daly. This is a tiny pistol. Sick. Look how small that is. Sigs are actually starting to grow on me, but this is like Rose Box or something, like some type of special edition. You can never go wrong with a Glock, especially when it's engraved like that. Hopefully that barrel is in titanium nitrate. Otherwise, that's going to look ugly when it scratches. Got the Masterpiece Arms Mac, Mac 10 or Mac 11. Got another CZ here. What are they asking on this one? $12.99. That new high point 10 millimeter. Y'all let me know if I should do a review on this one. Not too bad for a high point. And you know they got that warranty on there. Ooh, wee, this Dan Wesson is crazy. Oh my gosh. What's this chambered in? 45. That's a beautiful gun. We got another Dan Wesson specialist right here. Got a cool looking Kimber right there. Nice grip. We got a 44 Magnum Derringer. Ooh, that thing is gonna kick. 44 Magnum. I'm looking for the 4570 one of these to go along with that 500 Magnum, but that's super hard to find. Ruger 454 Casole. Is that the 454? That is a 454 at 900. That's not a bad price at all for this gun. Then we got the big boy Desert Eagles. 
Tensor Ego 357 Magnum. We got the 44 Magnum. We got, what is that? 50 AE, and I think that one's a 50 also. I still need to try out this Glock 20 MOS Gen 5 compared to the FM. Got some HKs. Ooh, they got the black 503 with the flashlight. This is a gun that a lot of people sleep on. This is actually a really good shooting gun. Super accurate, good price, super slim profile. Like, look how slim that is. It's a nice little pocket. And it got a flashlight incorporated into the frame. That's more Canic Rivals over here. Get a lot for these guns. You get a lot in the box. You got some distress models. The optics right. Canic gives you so much out of the box. Like, it's ridiculous. We have an all white version. That one's cold. Great. All right, so we got some big boy revolvers here. The Raging Hunter, 44 Magnum. Bigger one. We got that little life car, little 22. Super Red Hawk Alaskan. I think that's the 44 Magnum. We got the Shockwave with the wood furniture. That seven. I like the way this one looks. I don't know why. I like the way that one looks. We got the Remington version. Tech 14. And we got the Smith and Wesson MP, the one that looked like the DP12. I wanted to try this, but I've been seeing too many issues with this. So, but I definitely like the grip on it. Goes a tactical look in lever action. This one's chambered in 44 Magnum. One is 1040. Here goes another one. I like the way this one looks. I like the way they shrunk it in this part, just in case you want to see clamp. That looks ridiculous. That's that might be my next truck. Huh? Ten, ten of them. Ten. That looks crazy. That feels good too. Yeah. I like the Cerakote on that. Mm -hmm. it looks crazy. Oh, that feels good, bro. Mm -hmm. Seven six two by thirty nine. They're very similar to the front on this. Yeah, looks, that looks like a 732-39 man. That looks crazy. Yeah, that's dirty. That's awesome. I like that a lot. There's some more good stuff over here. We got a SIG. Some more SIGs. Oh, what is this? Oh, look on the top. Twenty-one plus one. That's crazy capacity right there. Full size. Got a Legion over here. Sig P three twenty. Come up top. Not bad price. Fire. Got another distressed Canic. Five forty nine. <laughs> Cool. Got that rose gold 43x. Should I do another giveaway with this one? How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Right. The detail is crazy. Ooh, different one. I don't know between them two. What y'all think? Now we got some Tauruses, optics ready, threaded barrel, flat trigger. Taurus is coming up in the game. we are seeing these mechanics everywhere. They're kind of dope, but they're a little trippy. All white gun. All right, so this is a Taurus GX4, nine millimeter. Really nice trigger, probably one of the best triggers, especially for that price. All right, Mike, so what do we have here? This is a very hard to find 1936 Mauser Luger. And if you notice the S42 stamp, they had to do that so that uh, the, other the other countries didn't know they were manufacturing guns. So they used codes like S42. This is a 1936 stamp 
all matching serial numbers except for the magazines. It's nearly impossible to find matching serial numbers on mags. But this one, very rarely do you also get the entire accompaniment with it. So we That's have crazy. the full uh, holster here along with the magazine key and the second magazine. The holster itself is also has the proper markings for that time period as well. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's in, this is in very good condition. Yeah, One other thing to point out is even the safety has the matching serial number, <laughs> which this was one of the first parts to break generally. Yeah. So it's hard to find one that has all the components with the matching serial numbers. That is ridiculous. Guys, here is the contact info for that. Available in one of one. Like, that's crazy right there. I appreciate it, Mike. Yeah, thank you. But you see, they got tons of ammo. This is all factory new, by the way. This is, once again, contact info. But tons of ammo. This is the 40 Smith & Wesson. All factory new, by the way. In case you want defensive stuff. And we got 9mm 500 for 125 thousand for 235. Like this goes on and on. Definitely hit them up. Ship all over the U.S. So. You know we gotta have a Yee Cannon, the high point nine millimeter. Six mags with that Springfield. Is that the ten? Nine millimeter. Nine millimeter, nine millimeter. That Chi yeah, Alpha Rhino. Just those out. That one looks kinda tough. Look at that gray and black MP5, same to 22. The color on this is crazy. I like the handguard, super thin handguard. So in case, so if you're one of the people who like that C clamp, this is definitely the one to do it with. Got a Colt Python 357 right there. Colt Delta Elite 1989, 10 mil. Really? Colt Delta Elite, 10 mil, 10 millimeter. If you know about this, you know this is super hard to find. Dimitri definitely got it. Garrison Shockwaves. Charles Daly Honcho. Is this semi auto? That is. No. And then we got some Benelli clones from Panzer. I don't know. This gold one looked tough. Definitely looked tough. I like the adjustable stock. Right. 775 original. This one actually says Tech 9 on it. Made in Miami. Super hard to find. Tech 9. Here's one. 16 mags. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know I want that. So, case color hardened. Desert the Eagle 58. You should have pulled the trigger yesterday. Just did it. Brand new. Oh, yeah. man. Maybe this one for another giveaway. I love that thing. All right, YouTube. So, as y'all see, it is starting to clear out. Please let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do that 5-7 Smith for a giveaway. That thing is tough. I might grab one for myself. But let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do that one for a giveaway. I mean, today all I got was some ammo. You know, you got to re-up. But like I said before, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment, share the video. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.